Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Reviews. In this video, I'll be showing you CS Float CS2 skin marketplace platform honest review. So CS Float found at csflow.com is one of the newer platforms for buying and selling Counter-Strike 2 or CS2 skins outside of Steam's official marketplace. Now it's designed to appeal to serious traders who want more control and you can filter skins by float value, inspect them in-game, and even list items for cash instead of Steam wide credit. Now on the surface it looks like a clean professional alternative to marketplaces like Skinport or Buff163 with lower seller fees and a focus on transparency. Now, CS Float is definitely a real and functioning platform. It's been around for a few years and has built a decent reputation in the CS2 trading community. Now, you can access it through their website or the official mobile app on the Google Play Store. Now, meaning uh, there's some credibility on it. Now, on a few sites like just Spotify here, uh, well, the website or the platform itself has an average rating of 4.8 out of 5 across thousands of reviews, as you can see right now. Now, most traders face how it, it, it is easy to browse items, inspect skins, and make trades directly through Steam's API without complicated setups or steps. Especially popular among players who care about exact float values and rare skin plot patterns. Now, that said, like most third-party marketplaces, it's not without risk. Now, since CS Float operates independently from Valve, any trades or disputes that happen outside of Steam's own market aren't protected by Steam support. Now, it means if something goes wrong, for example, if the trade is cancelled midway, a bot malfunctions or your account permission gets compromised, well, you're mostly on your own to resolve it. Now, there are also a few negative reviews in here. Now, it's not a uh, totally... Uh, uh, a perfect app here now there are some uh, or there are bound to be hiccups in here now uh on trustpot here or in similar platforms some users mentioned about trade reversals where deals seemed complete but later got cancelled there's something in, in lost value others complain about slow withdrawals or frozen balances with a few claiming their funds were held uh, longer than expected well those reports don't point to an outright scam here they highlight that CS float can have operational hiccups, especially during busy trading periods or when Steam's servers lag. Now, it's still worth mentioning here that these kinds of issues are pretty common in third-party trading ecosystems. They don't automatically mean the platform itself is fake, since Float's reputation among experienced traders is largely positive. And most of who use it directly seem to complete their transaction without problems. Now, also, just to give you some idea, there are some discussions as well on uh, Steam um, uh, forums as well. Like, for example, uh, mentions that uh, people getting hacked. But uh, for based on what we're seeing here, these are rare instances. So uh, you may uh, experience uh, experience certain, like, for example, if your uh, PC is compromised, you may get hacked so obviously you may want to add or uh, install any preventive measures like an antivirus or anything to, to prevent any hacking here but based on what we're seeing in here on what cs float is well sales float appears to be legitimate but it's also something you should approach with realistic expectation now it's not at it's not as secure as buying directly from Steam, but if you understand how trading works and take precaution here, like verifying your trade offers, using two-factor dedication, and never storing large balances long term, it can be a useful tool for serious C2, uh, CS2 traders. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.